Hi everyone, welcome back to Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. As you can see, we're currently with Elena, or still with Elena rather. She basically saved us after we found out, um, yeah, an uncomfortable truth, let's call it. About how... You got it? Good. How Sam lied to us. Fine, I thought you got it. Okay, this is not how I hoped it would be. How's that? Oh, but it works. I actually thought it comes down and builds like a little bridge or something. But that'll do. Oh, dear. Uh, how was that? Oh, that's not enough. Okay, so currently we need to figure out how we can get this elevator going. We have to move this box, but let me see first where to. I would have set out here, but is there anything in here? Okay, I see. Okay. What should I do? Because the elevator is actually big enough to... to... for our car. Nothing yet. Gonna climb higher. Need an elevator just to fix the elevator. How can I... Oh, yeah. It's very bright. You can hardly see things. Okay. Yeah, the sun is pretty um, irritating, in fact. You made it. Is there I did. Doubt? Wait, hold on. I got an idea. Wow, okay, so she already did this. Ah, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. That's my girl. <laughs> Beautiful. Can we Okay, we can't. I'm gonna detach the winch now. Okay. I'll bring the car to the elevator. Good call. Okay, I guess we have to get all the way over here. And then drop and then do something on this side. Here we go. Ah. Ah, I see. Ah, of course, we have to get it locked in there. Wonderful. Did it. We did it! What? Oh! Oh dear. I am! <laughs> just, I'm just hanging in there. Are we still moving? What? Wait! Whoa! Stay down! Use the car as cover. Let me see if I can flank them. Oh, can we? Oh dear. Oh, there's another one. Still not. Okay, that took too long. Oh, Elena, was that you? Thank you. Oh, damn it. Oh, dear. That was a roller coaster. Oh, shit. Ah, 
I was greedy and I wanted to. Oh dear. Get the. Ah! <laughs> Jesus, they're everywhere! As usual. Did I get them? I didn't. Wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, that's that's not a concern. Do I get hit here? No. It just feels like it a bit. Okay, now you guys. Move! I, I pressed jump, but he didn't. Maybe it's easier for me to... Okay, I need to wait a bit. Oh, was he dead? He just constantly shoots. Elena, feel free to shoot as well. Oh, some up. Throwing this from? It must be behind me. Where? Where from? Oh, there. What did she say? Oh, fuck. Jump onto the elevator from here, yeah. Oh, I should have probably picked up the ammo. More! Does that get him? Oh, that's actually too. There we go. What? Where? See him. Oh, there. That's encouraging. Oh, for fuck's sake, let me. Oh, God. <clears throat> but not all of them again? All of them? Oh, my God. What? Oh, he has the, um, of course, I need to do this guy first because he has the sniper. that I can only use this weapon for shooting them, but not really my other weapon. I mean, I understand because I need to, obviously, need two hands for that. So, I mean, it clearly makes sense. Oh, 
he died, even though he was super far away. Oh, damn it. That's unfortunate. Oh, nein! Oh, he didn't grab onto something. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, geez, that's, that's a tricky part. Maybe I'm just doing something fundamentally wrong. That's also possible. It's actually really like that. Get me because of the elevator. My aiming with my grenade is pretty shit. Oh, nee, really? Damn it. <laughs> now my aiming was great. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Oh, that was bad. But we have this still the issue that we have some more coming and he has this like blaster It's like rocket launcher almost Where is he? What? I'm out of what to do now! Are you kidding me? I can't do anything. Fuck, I'm in big trouble. I need ammo, but I how? Wait, can I? I can get over there. I have to try that. I can't get over there. Oh, that's a problem. That's an actual problem. How is that a thing? I have no idea. Honestly. Oh, come on. I press it. Oh, that's... That's... Okay, I need to take the time to get some... Ammo. Where am I? 
Get up. Right. Okay, I mean... This is really not perfect here. None of this. Oh, it's too far, is it? So where's the guy with the rocket launcher? Or the grenade launcher? Oh god. He is. I think he's hiding behind the. Okay, he's down. Where's the shooting going on? Jesus Christ. Oh, I... Nee. Oh, get okay, up. Hide right behind it. Lord. Damn it. Get back. back. Hurry. Yeah. I'm moving, Nate. I'm not really sure if I'm going the right way. Nice. Holy shit. Are you okay, Nate? Huh? Well, took me a while. Sure. Oh. You seem to be doing fine. After all that, I need a break. <laughs> oh, same. <laughs> okay, what was I was driving? I oh, yeah, R2. Okay, wow, that was a lot. So I was thinking all this engineering and architecture, it doesn't come cheap. Do you think there's even any treasure left? We're wondering that ourselves. Damn you, shoreline. There's Seriously. the elevator. There goes nothing. I have no idea where we have to go. Go this way, maybe. No use. The current's too strong. Okay, but how are we supposed to get somewhere? Maybe over there. That looks less strong. Yeah, I think that's that's working. Up to here. Huh? 
Where are we supposed to go? So we come from? And now? Avoid driving against white water. Yeah, well... Um... But where am I supposed to go? I don't... I have no, no idea, I'm sorry. Kidding me? Okay, I don't know where to go. I can't go down. So I have to get up here, but then, then what? Can we plug around our little wrench thingy and do I die when I jump into the water? But how do we get over here? Ah! Okay. <laughs> My th suggestion would have been to do the same thing that I did now without the car, with the car. But that was not obvious to me. Because it sounded like when they say don't, uh, so avoid driving against the white water, it sounded like like some severe consequences. Okay. Oh, it's good that it teleports her towards me. Makes things a bit easier. God damn. Oh, sorry. Can drive the sluice gate. Okay, now. Oh, hold on. Look at this. Do you think I can? Yeah, nice. Okay, we're probably gonna open the door to let her in. Maybe with this. Here we go. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so that one's blocked. Can't go through there. It's no good. It's blocked. Mm. Okay, let's the go other to the one. other side. Oh. Ah! I've seen that coming. Yes, we should. And behind door number two. Hopefully, that's not blocked. Oh, there's water coming out. That's a good sign. Ah, oh, looks good. Looks like this one's clear. Nice work. Thank you. We're good. Can we 
go this way? What's wrong? Too muddy. Gotta go around. Okay. we get up there my get my guess would be to just basically jump <laughs> or well, we can go up there that's maybe possible too hey may maybe we could get up that way cool. oh yeah and now watch this yeah, see, I do this. Hang on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we did it. You sound surprised. Maybe a little. I would be so sound surprised too. Can we get through there? Do we even have to? I find this driving, um, I must be honest here, I find this driving extremely confusing at times. Because ah, it's, hang on. it's actually absolutely not obvious sometimes where we have to go. So, I apologize for this. And we're up. Back and forth a little bit. Okay, why is there a little ladder? Oh. Huh. I wonder who lives here. Probably the elevator keeper person. The elevator. What do we have here? I guess these guys knew something big was going down. June 5th, 1718. Another shipment of unmarked crates came up river from the port. Only this one was accompanied by a group of armed soldiers. Though agitated, I commenced inspecting the integrity of the crates until a harsh voice commanded me to stop. I bristled at being ordered around like a common thug, but when I turned, I found myself staring into the eyes of Founder 2. It was the first time I'd seen any of the founders in flesh, in the flesh. My throat went dry and I found myself struggling to speak as I needed to choose my words carefully. I explained to him merely, I merely wanted to inspect the con contents for weight, but he told me firmly it was unnecessary. I was relieved when he shifted his interest elsewhere. Truth be told, I did get a look inside the crates before founder 2 stopped me. Cutlasses, pistols, and gunpowder. Considering the number of crates, I would say enough to supply an army. I did not speak of this to Eleanor. She is preoccupied enough with her brother Jack's disappearance, but my friends must be told. The battalia was founded on ideas worth defending, even against the founders themselves, if, ne if necessary. Once I ensure Eleanor and little Abigail are safe, I shall make my way to town to inform the others. Until then, I shall keep my head down, but my eyes open. Yeah, so this is this... Um, resistance that has been formed. Sweet. Okay. So that loops around. I wonder do we go further with by car, it, it looks like it. Chris, yeah, Elena's here. Hurry up. The odds that elevator's working. Uh, so far, we're two for two. Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. Well, the water wheel's working, that bodes well. Okay. Let's have a look. Ok, 
Alright, so... Oh. Just jump over. Come on, Nate. Really? Come on. Let's get that car onto the elevator. Yeah, I would love to get this weapon first. Ah. Oh, nice. Two? Well, that's ridiculous. But maybe we need it for something. We don't need it to get this door open. How do we... Come on, Nate. We should get to your brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Let's okay. The, the elevator is way. working. We just need to open it up. Oh, that looks dangerous. Do you see that? There's a crack in the floor. Which does not look trustworthy at all. Oh, crap. I'll hold it. Just get the car. Okay, let's crank this thing. Three for three. Gotta love that pirate engineering. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. And also that it still works. Like 1718, like that's over like probably 300 years ago. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Oh, wow, look at this. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you change your mind? Hmm? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. <laughs> for better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. She doesn't sound really convinced about all of this. Here. Which is understandable. Give me a hand with this. Alright. Okay. You know, even <coughs> if you think that you're protecting me. You don't have a right to shut me out like that. Exactly. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I... 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 You know, I... we should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. I really like... Elena's character. This is, I think that is something that Naughty Dog can do extremely well. Then it is like character development, but also character creation in the first place. They are all just so. Stop, they are all real and and relatable characters. It's the same with like. Um, it's the same with The Last of Us, one and two. It's just, I love that. That makes you invested in the story. It makes you invested in the characters. It makes you root for them. And I root for them as a couple, you know, because they are who they are. I think that's a, it's, it's impressive how Naughty Dog does that. How well they do it. Okay, Nate. let's. Elena? Nate? We're here, Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Now a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far, so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no news is good news type. We'll try. Mm. Over and out. I'm in this situation, I bet. 
Uh, which way? This way. Okay. Oops. Should be on the other side of the bridge. You, Devon. <laughs> on tight. Whoa! Oh dear! Turn around! We're heading for the falls! I can't! Current's too strong! What am I supposed to do? Brace yourself! Uh, Nate? Nate! There! We can climb up this rock! On it! Uh, go! Go! Uh, I got it! Oh man! Really? Uh, waterfall. Waterfall. Okay. Oh jeez, okay. there goes the car. <laughs> the tree is not okay. Oh come on. Yeah, I'm doing my best here. Over here, quick! Yeah, I'm trying. There we go. Whew. I think we don't get the um, the money back for the car. I think that's gone. Huh? So much for the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. You should keep moving. Of course he was af afraid of losing her. He he had to, or he has to admit to himself that the life that they were living, this comfortable life, was good for, for some time, but he's just bored by it. And... At least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. Do we just jump? Or can we... Maybe we can even just go into the water. So he was afraid of, like, telling her that he's unhappy. Oh, hoppa. <laughs> I'm just too stupid to... Good call. Now, how do we get up there? Like this, maybe. Seems a bit more doable. But I mean, I mean, obviously they can't go on like this forever. That's clear. But doing what he, okay, we do it. We do it your way, Elena. That's that's the better way anyway. But doing what he did is just not fair towards her either. Avery sure picked a gorgeous island. Well, well maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? <gasps> Maybe. We've been there. Why did we not go further up? I didn't see that. But I think this is the way to go. Oh, hello. We have here. I'll buy your lonesome. August first, seventeen eighteen. I bade farewell to Eleanor and little Abigail at midnight. They joined the other escapees aboard the swift swift shore, bound for better shores. I pray I shall be able to join them soon. The founders have taken everything from me, from all of us. With little gold, I contributed. The, what little gold I contributed is now gone. 
all behind the high walls of New Devon. We shall see soon enough. At dawn we go forth to take back what rightfully is, what's rightfully ours. They did not stop us at the treasury. They shall not stop us now. My darling Eleanor, my sweet Abigail, should I perish here, should I fail you, know that I only wished us happiness and prosperity. Perhaps you will still have a chance for yourself. Oh. He didn't make it. Now well, rest in peace, my pirate friend. Yeah, so this is not the way to go. It must be somewhere around here. That was just to find that letter. Okay, almost there. Yeah, I'm curious how a new Devon looks like. Oh dear. Well, Whoa. that's oh, not good. I mean, judging by the clothes, they're colonists. Maybe it was a fight? No, I, I don't think so. Look how they're arranged. Yeah, you're right. They're stacked. They were just shoved against the walls. They were already dead when they were brought here. This is a mass grave, Nate. Oh, dear. <coughs> Hello? Who is this? Traitor. Sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. That's a bad way to die. Oh. Here's another one. That's dark. Mm. I think we have to grab onto him. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. Okay, so we can go this way. More gym. Okay, I think it just leads us here anyway. Do we go down? I guess so. Okay, so this looks more like a oh Jesus. That's one way to quash a rebellion. Wow. Welcome to New Devon. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. We are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Oh, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. Yeah. Okay, so where do we need to go? Maybe over ah oh, up there, okay, I see. Just need your help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. They're steady enough. Sorry to disturb you, pal. Yep, Bala. I meant to jump. And uh, not to fall down like an idiot. So... Uh, Elena, do you need to jump and then... What the hell? Oh. 
Ah. Here we go. Come on. You right? Yeah. Wow. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and some water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. A real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. Alright, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on... That one. The one that's still intact. And that's the biggest and the yeah. highest up. You're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, had a little practice, read a few books. Shit, no. shit. What? Mm. What? It's clear. The front door. It's Sam. He's still alive. And for now. Come on. Okay, guys. Um, All right. Keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. Because I expect, as he just, as Nate just said, a couple of fights here. We're going to end this episode now because I think it's a good, good point in the game to stop. Uh, yeah, we made it to New Devon, and it looks pretty fascinating. And it just, it just confirms everything that we, that we suspected so far. They just stole the money from the poor colonists and built this for themselves like that is and then they slaughtered everyone who was trying to get to them and probably put them in these cages also as a warning for others or just simply as punishment could also be um but yeah we made it to here which is cool and then we're going to continue in the next episode and make our way through these ruins um i probably already see the way it's like probably over there um, fight our way through so that we can get to Sam and hopefully save Sam. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.